Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be taking a look at the Bo-Katan Kree's six-scale figure by Hot Toys from The Mandalorian. The box is a standard shoebox design. The front features a dark gray border cropped into an angular window framing an image of Bo-Katan on black, her helmet cradled in her right hand, exposing the details of the unhelmeted portrait included with the figure. The characteristic Chrome Star Wars logo is partially obscured by the Hot Toys signature cigar band in the tones of orange, amber, and umber that we've come to associate with the company's Mandalorian line of six-scale figures. As usual, the cigar band sports two more images of Bo-Katan in different combat poses. Removing the top of the box reveals the expected insert, with a photograph of Bo-Katan engaged in combat with an Imperial Stormtrooper. Pulling out that insert reveals the figure in its clamshell. There's bo in the center, surrounded by an assortment of accessories, including the swap-out portrait, two jetpack effects, an assortment of five additional hands, a grappling hook, two blaster pistols, a blade, and a comlink. Barely visible in the clamshell beneath bo legs is the figure's base, as well as the grip for the dynamic flight stand. A themed railing is also included, which can be attached to that stand to add some extra context to your display. Additionally, beneath that clamshell, you'll find a decorative backdrop to round out that whole look. Pulling the figure and its accessories out of the box gives us a better look at everything it has to offer. There's bo in the center. On the right, you can see the unhelmeted portrait, the jetpack effects, the grappling hook, the Westar 35 blaster pistols, the knife blade for the right gauntlet, and the comlink. Over on the left are the assortment of five hands, including a pair of fists, a pair of pistol grip hands, and a hand for holding the comlink. Now let's take a closer look at the bo figure. The helmet leaves an impression with its details and its combination of curves and sharp angles. The color varies subtly throughout the blue and white areas punctuated by intricate scratches and chips that leave the impression of continuous conflict. Popping that helmet off of the double ball joint enables you to replace it with the unhelmeted portrait. It features an authentic likeness of actor Katie Sackhoff as bo with her auburn hair held back from her tanned face by her blue headband. No detail is left out, including bo forehead scar. The armor elements are highly detailed and are all affixed with Velcro to a bodysuit comprised of alternating panels of fabric and faux leather. Detailing on the armor is very fine, with multiple layers of paint broken up by realistic scratches, and the pauldrons feature the signet of the elite Mandalorian Night Owls. The jetpack is permanently attached to the back armor, which is in turn attached to the bodysuit by Velcro. Removing this piece from the right van brace enables the attachment of the stiletto blade. The belt is a faux leather material with sculpted buckles and loops from which descend the faux leather holsters. Moving down the legs, the pole lanes are attached to the knees via elastic straps while the greaves are attached with Velcro to a pair of faux leather spats which cover the top of the sculpted, highly articulated boots. Moving on to the articulation. The rangefinder on the helmet can move the required 90 degrees to put it in position to serve its function. The helmeted portrait can look down about 45 degrees and about 10 degrees up. It can also achieve about 15 degrees of tilt to either side. And can rotate a full 360 degrees if you desire. The unhelmeted portrait can look down about 20 degrees. And about 15 degrees up. Just like with the helmeted portrait, you'll get about 15 degrees of head tilt to either side. And you can rotate the head to whatever degree you'd like. A ratcheted joint will provide the arms with a full 90 degrees of lateral lift. You'll also get just shy of 90 degrees of anterior lift. and about the same degree of posterior lift. The joints in the elbows will allow about 90 degrees of flex, and the usual cut above the bicep will allow the arm to pivot there. Even with the armor, the torso will provide a modest amount of crunch and extension, as well as a small amount of lean to either side.
Additionally, there's enough play for a comfortable 45 degrees of torso twist. 45 degrees is the magic number with the legs, which will each achieve that degree of lift laterally, anteriorly, and posteriorly. The knees will hit just over 90 degrees of flex and can be rotated at the thigh thanks to a swivel joint there. The feet will hit a small amount of extension with a good deal more contraction as well as pronation and supination. Now let's take a closer look at these accessories. The Westar 35 Blaster Pistols feature wood grain grips with warm tones that contrast beautifully with the various cool metallic finishes on the barrels. The grappling hook is painted in a metallic finish while the wire is stiff, providing the illusion of the hook having just been fired from the van brace. The jetpack effects are cast in clear fire orange plastic, which will play nicely with the light. And of course, there's the exposed van brace blade as well as the familiar comlink. And of course, let's not forget this unhelmeted portrait with its authorized likeness to Kitty Sackoff in the role of Bogotan. In addition to the relaxed hands that come on the figure, there's also a selection of five additional hands for alternate display. They include a pair of fists, a pair of pistol gripping hands, and a hand for the comlink. There are two ways to display the diorama base. The first is to place the railing behind the dynamic stand. But also, by removing the nameplate from the front of the base, you can place the railing at the front, enabling you to add the decorative backdrop to the rear of the display. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Bo-Katan Kree six-scale figure by Hot Toys from The Mandalorian. Be sure to watch Unsealed and Revealed and How to Be a Poser for even more posable figure content. If you'd like more information about this figure, follow the link below. And as always, don't forget to live your geek side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen. If you'd like more information about the product featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.